John 10, 10 says, The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Jesus is speaking in this passage, uh, telling us that he came to give life. I just got back from a retreat in upstate New York where this was the theme for our weekend and I spoke four times on the life that Jesus gives, how he wants to give, not just give us life, but give it to the full. And so often we have this perception that God and religion are things that keep us from life, that, that God is holding something back from us. In fact, that is the very way that brokenness entered the world. When we look at the world around us, that we don't see the life that God created us for. We see brokenness, we see pain, we see suffering and disease, we see injustice. And as we look at these things, I, I ask, how did we get from the God who created us to have life and life to the full to the brokenness that we have in our world today? And the answer is the first part of that verse in John 10:10 10, 10, that the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Genesis 3, we have the account of Adam and Eve and the perfection of life in the Garden of Eden and, and along comes Satan in the form of a serpent who comes as that thief to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And what he does is he plants the seeds of doubt in our minds. And he proposes a situation where life could be found apart from God. Where God is ho perhaps holding something back from us. And so he proposes that, that what God had told them not to do, to eat from the tree, that God was holding us back from something. And, and in those seeds of doubt, brokenness entered the world. You see, here's kind of the premise of the weekend that we looked at. It was that Brokenness entered the world when we decided that life could be found apart from God. And so when we look at brokenness in our world, it, it, it's the result of mankind, men and women, deciding that we want to find life apart from the source of life. As I looked at that passage where Jesus says, I've come that they may have life to the full, I started going through the Gospel of John and, and it begins where it says, in the beginning was the Word. And it, it says, in Him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. And then in John 4, Jesus says, I am the living water. And in John 6, He says, I am the bread of life. In John 8, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. In John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then you get to the end of the gospel and it says that Jesus performed many other signs that couldn't be recorded in this book. In fact, if, if we recorded it, there wouldn't be enough space to record the wonderful things that Jesus has done. But this is what John says. He says, I have recorded these things so that, so that you may believe in the name of Jesus and that in believing you may have life. You see, life is directly connected to who God is. Brokenness entered the world when we decided that life could be found apart from God. But here's the amazing thing is that Jesus came so that we could have life, the life that cannot be found apart from him. And, and that is the amazing good news of Christianity. That's the amazing good news of Jesus, that life, and life to the full is found in Jesus. And he comes and he restores our brokenness. And though we live in a world that is still full of pain and suffering and injustice, his life gives us hope, it gives us peace, and it gives us the confidence that we are truly living. Guys, this is life and life to the full that we believe in the name of Jesus. 
and that in believing you may have life. Uh, yeah, the thief came, uh, the thief tries to kill, to steal our joy, to destroy our hope. But Jesus came that we may have life and life to the full. I, I gave the challenge to the students this weekend that faith in Jesus means believing that there that we cannot find life apart from him. And when we believe that with all our heart and we set our lives upon this truth that I cannot find life, I only find brokenness apart from Jesus, then I truly experience the life that Jesus came to bring, life to the full.